What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. Today, I want to look at Bucks rookie second round pick Chris Braswell. He didn't really record much of statistics, but I promise you guys, he was out there on the field. He was trying. He was motoring around. Uh, so let's break it down. What did he show? What are the potential good things he can bring to the Bucks uh, talent and their edge rush group? So when I look at him, when we first drafted him, I literally saw almost the same mold as Yaya Diaby, a guy that can hold the edge, but that plays with power. So if you're going to see him here on the outside, starting outside, then he comes and rushes in to the guard here. Check out the power and push he gets on this guy as he lifts him up here, pushes him back into the pocket. Guy can't really step into any throw. So when he releases it, it's kind of off of his back foot, not really leaning into the throw. Kind of goes a little too far. Guy almost comes down with it, but it's an incompletion. But the good stuff I like is the power he does play with. Yes, he's not as big as Yaya Diaby. They're the same height, but Yaya's probably got like 10, 15 pounds on him. But enough force to push guys back and then trying to get after it he does have a motor trying to knock that ball down as well so the guy had to loft it over him couldn't really beeline it to the guy as if he wanted to and couldn't get enough power through it through that throw because chris braswell's right there again yaya and him are the same height yaya is just a little bit bigger in weight but here here's the good stuff that i do like that i don't think yaya had last year check him as a true edge rusher watch him Go around the corner and then long arm this guy. So 76 is going around the arc. Check as he stabs him right in the chest right there and use that long arm to keep the defender's arms off of him. So one arm longer than two principle, getting around the edge corner. This time he tries to go back inside and just, just he doesn't want the guy getting open from there. Uh, I think he probably should have kept going wide since he has help inside coming in. Never know, he probably could have gotten a sack, but I like the effort and look, he got there. He's forcing the pass, forcing the errant throw. And I do like the ability to lean. Like, look how much he's leaning into this. Like, his whole arm, upper half, is leaned into the left tackle. One arm's pushing that chest plate. This guy's trying to catch up to him. So that's a lot of good stuff. He's going to learn some counters and stuff, like how to maybe dip and rip under that. Or if he is going to go inside, how to quickly transition to that counter inside. Because right there is just more of his long arm. And then he just slowly transitioned to trying to win inside. So I think as he matures and gets more mature with coaching in the NFL level of how to quickly do this, where it's like a step one, two, three, go, not just how am I feeling this thing out? Like how to execute these plays a little bit more efficiently. Uh, but that that is a good trait that to have, that long arm ability to get around the edge. Uh, and here, a lot of the stuff you didn't see him because there was either a tight end over him or they had him drop back a lot. So he has a tight end over the top of him here. So he's half having to get through this junk, right? So he has to deal with him. Is it a run? No. Okay, let me get into the passing game. So I like that. He's got the motor. Still trying that one arm long, long arm there. Trying to get around the edge. The ball's already coming out. That's not his fault that he get, didn't get into play. So some people get mad that you don't see much in the stat sheet. But uh, I mean, because they're on the other side. Marquise Watts over here, one-on-one. -on -one. He's going against 79, who Jose Ramirez dominated time and time again. Marquise Watts didn't win this one, right? He got blocked out of the play, and he had the one. He had the one-on-one -on -one. over here. Chris Braswell had to deal with trash, get through two guys, but he's still playing in there and the motor to get after it. So here again, now they're dropping him back into coverage, right? As your second-round pick, Alabama product, just reading the play of what's in front of him, get to my zone quickly, understanding where the hell he needs to be. That's the quickest way he's going to get onto the field. So understand your assignment base, okay? Sit in that zone. Don't fly away and give away this whole middle of the field, right? So he stays in that little zone, sees the running back, or the running back, the quarterback's trying to escape, gets in after it. Guy has to go down because he's right there. So assignment-based football, that's what you want to see, especially from a rookie, knowing where the hell you're at. You're going to play faster when you know where you where you have to be. So that's one big aspect of his game that he did show on tape. So you can't get mad at him at that. He didn't have many pass rush opportunities. But Chris Braswell... He showed up pretty well for me. I think based off of more repetitions, more opportunities to get after the passer, let's see what happens. So guys, with that said, if you like the video, hit that like button down, support, support the channel, comment down below what do you think of his performance. With that said, until the next one.